Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome back. I'm here today to do my update for my Project 10 Uses Project Pan. This is a project that I was inspired to start by watching Paula at a beauty guru made me do its updates or intro. Well, you know, her videos. The person who originally created this project was Phoebe HB and the inspiration for this project was Melissa Gold. I will leave the information in the description box. And I think I've been remiss in leaving Paula's channel down below. I think we all know who Paula is, but I will remember to link her channel in the description box as well. So I work on 10 products at a time and try to hit a goal of using those 10 items 10 times. And I actually had really great progress this past month, which I'm super excited about. Okay, so I am able to roll out six items this month very exciting okay let me share with you the items that i am rolling out of this project for this month so the first one i actually finished and i kind of assumed i would it is the mac prep and prime fix plus setting spray in the cucumber scent so i rolled this in last month and i kind of figured i would finish it so yeah i did i think i actually did not finish it in my within the 10 uses but i did finish it I think with two additional uses because I was like, oh, I'm almost done. I might as well just finish it. So I did. Yeah, I really do love this product. It's my favorite. So anyway, this is done. Yay. All right. So going from this thing that's been in here, the oldest, the first one is by Kat Von D, the original Kat Von D product. This is the Metal Crush eyeshadow in the shade Danzig. So it's this one here, and I did finally hit my goal on this. This has been in here at least four months, if not five. So this is a beautiful eyeshadow. You know, I've actually used this more so in my outer corner. I think if I was using this on my lid, I kind of would think it was mm, but using it on the outer corner is perfect. It doesn't need to be super blingy for the outer corner, in my opinion. I prefer, you know, I kind of like that. I don't mind, I should say, I don't mind that it's not in your face glittery or has that wow factor since it's like all the way out here. I'm fine with that. But anyway, I got my 10 uses on this. It can be rolled out. Very exciting. The next one that's older in this project is from my Tarte Color Wheel. It's the Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Mod. And I actually finished my usage on... I actually hit my goal on this today. So it is this shade here. And I did hit my goal on this, like I said, today. Got my 10 uses on it. It's a really nice peachy shade. So I actually had a different blush on this morning and I reapplied foundation like on the bottom part of my face because I touch my face all the time for work or when I'm working and I just I reapplied bronzer and blush as well because I kind of covered it up with a little bit more foundation and I was like well, let me get my 10 uses on this one because I was at nine so I was like I might as well roll this one out anyway it's out I really did enjoy the shade I didn't think that I would love it as much as I did because it's so peachy but it's really pretty on really did like that oh, he's passing out love it okay the next one is an eyeshadow and I, I think it was only I was at nine uses last month eight uses last month and last month on I didn't say this but Last month on the shade Danzig, I was at six, so I used it four more times. And on Mod, I had five uses last month, so I was able to use it five more times. And this one, I had eight uses last month, so I used it only had to use it two more times. I actually think I rolled in another product for that one because I was so close to, and I was like, I know, I knew I was going to be able to finish it really quickly because I was using it with Amahara. I loved it in combination with them. Oh, I didn't even show you. The next product to hit my goal on is MAC Sushi Flower. And this is a beautiful eyeshadow. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Like I said, I used it with Umhara by Natasha Denona. It really just worked so well with that eyeshadow. It added like a, a pink flare to that 
shade that I think was just gorgeous. I love this. It's so pretty. There was a time where I don't know that I loved this as much as I do now. I don't know what I don't know why, because this is gorgeous. And I kind of feel like I'm I'm not close to hitting pan. But funny enough, I feel like I'm closer to hitting pan on this than I am Mac Ho, which I use way more than I use this. Go figure. Okay. And I did roll in another item, I think, last month for that, like I said, because I was super close to hitting my goal. Okay, the next item I hit my goal on is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the shade 3.75. I think that's right. Yeah, 3.75. I love this foundation, and it's actually going to be going into another project coming up soon. So that's why it's got a mark on there already. So that's how much I have left. But yeah, I used this 10 times. I actually mixed this a lot because it's a little light for me right now. But I realized using this recently that I need to actually work this out of my collection. It's it's starting, it's on the older side, but it's one of my favorites. So I need to use it and work it out. So it is going into go, it is going to go into a project. But I do love this foundation. It's a holy grail foundation. So I need to finish it, but I got my 10 uses on it for this project. So that's rolling out. And the last item that I can roll out is this bronzer from the NARS Pleasure Trip palette. The shade is Wild at Heart. So it is this bronzer here. And this is a really nice bronzer. Really, really nice. It was a just a tad bit dark for me for this time of year I made it work I didn't go super dark with it and I think if you use the right brush you can you know go light-handed and it just it was really pretty I really did enjoy the formula a lot it was really pretty so yeah those were the six items right six one two three four six items I hit my goal on this past month I do have five items I'm still working on. Like I mentioned, I did have one extra item that I rolled in. So going from the items that have been in here the longest, I do have an eyeshadow from Urban Decay. It is the shade Solstice. So it's this gorgeous eyeshadow here. And let me take off these swatches of the items that are no longer in the project. So we can start with a fresh palette. This is beautiful. I have not been using this because I really wanted to work on my eyeshadow in my 21 and 21 project. Nabla eyeshadow in Alchemy. My goal was to hit goal, <laughs> hit pan in that. <laughs> and I finally did. So now I can kind of use this in its place. They were similar. This one is I think more purple toned, but they were similar in how I would use them. And oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. I did just put it over the wet wipe where I wiped it. It was still a bit damp. Oh my gosh, it's stunning, stunning. So anyway, I have used that. I used that. I haven't used that at all in the last month. So I'd used it four times last month and I haven't used it at all in the last month. So I still have four uses. The next item I have is by Natasha Denona. This is a foundation. It's the Transform Pore Finishing Matte Foundation. It's this one here. And last month I had only used it once and I've used it six more times. So we're now at seven uses. Only have three more to go. I have kind of put the brakes on this because I really want to finish a foundation that is in my 50 shades of purple. It's a sample and I am almost done. I'm not going to show you cause that'll be a spoiler, but I'm almost done with it. I'm so close. Once that is done, I can probably move on to this. This will also be a better shade match for me. I think when I come back from the beach, now the matte portion of it probably won't be. So I may end up, even though the shade would be a good match for me, I may end up still mixing this with a hydrating foundation to make sure that it doesn't make my, my skin look super cakey. I still like to almost always apply a foundation with a, a, a beauty sponge that has oil. Like I, I 
drop a couple of drops of facial oil on it. That's I'll still apply it that way. But I don't hate this. I just don't love it. But I'm able to use it, if that makes sense. And I recently I've been combining it with the Herborian BB Cream. I'm thinking I may switch it out for something a bit more hydrating than that. That one is not as emollient as I kind of want right now. So I was actually thinking today that I may switch that Herborian cream out for something a bit more emollient, like maybe the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue that I just, I just purchased one in a porcelain shade or something else that I have. Um, another BB cream that may be a little more hydrating. Anyway, that's the goal. But yeah, I have three more uses to go on this one. So not too many. Should be able to finish that fairly quickly, I would hope. The next item I have is by Clinique. This is the Cheek Pop in Black Honey Pop. So it's this one here. And I have only used this twice. Now I only had one use last month and now I have two. So I've only used it one more time. I really do love this blush. So it's not a matter of not liking the shade. If you apply it with a light hand, it's really, I mean, it's gorgeous, really pretty. I've just been focusing on some other blushes and this is not the one that I think of using. Like whenever I reach for a blush, I don't think about this one for some reason. I don't know why, but I do, I'm trying to think, have I, I just rolled out a blush. So I hope maybe that'll help me reach for this a bit more. We'll see, but yeah, and you still need to get eight uses on this guy. Oh yeah, I missed this one. The next one I have is the Cleona Eyeshadow in Abrasion. This is gorgeous. I did apply this to my eyes today, just to the mid portion of my eyes here. This is stunning. And let me get a nice like tacky base going here. Ish, you know, wet. so pretty. I love it. It's gore. Let me look at the, both those eyeshadows. Okay. Beautiful. The last item I have is by ColourPop. It is a lippy stick in the shade Out of Sync. It's this one here. This is so out of season right now. Uh, it's in this project. I need to use it. I should have worn this last month a lot, but I didn't. So it's there. I don't think I told you guys. This one currently has five uses. I used, I used it one last month that had one use. So I've used it four times. This currently has one use and I rolled it in last month. So I only have one use on it. Still have none more to go. That is such a summer shade too. I may have to just like mix this with, you know, use it as a mixer because I don't know. Well, you know what? I could take this to Hawaii and see how well I do using this when I'm in Hawaii because that's, you know, beach. We'll see how I do with this in Hawaii. Maybe. We'll see. Anyway, so those are the one, two, three, four, five items I still have left. So we can pick five new items. And let me see. I think I'm just going to pick five because I'm not, even though I have seven uses on this, I'm, I'll am i probably still like just barely get my 10 uses on this. So let me pick just five this time and let's see what we get. So let me pull up Wheel of Beans. Okay, so we're picking five items. So here we go. Let's see what we get. Now, some of these, again, I may have to veto for one reason or another. Let's see what we get. Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil in Delinquent. I can't remember what shade that is. We'll see. All right, that's one. Milk Makeup Longwear Gel Eyeliner and Boss. I know that's a black, I believe that's a black liner. Okay. Okay. Three is Stila Hide and Chic Foundation in Light. Four. I don't know if that's the shade number. 
Okay, that's three. Is it going? <laughs> Mary Kay True Dimension Lipstick in Lava Berry. That's four. Wait, four? This is four, right? This is five? Mary Kay Lipstick. Interesting. Okay, last one is ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Westy. That's a lip liner. Those are really interesting, like, rando choices. Okay, let me go pick these, and I will be right back. The camera may be lower, because I don't think it was even before. <laughs> okay, I have my items. Now, I don't think I have them in the order that I pulled them, but I think I do have them all here. I do. There's three pencils. Interesting. Okay, so first let me pull this Milk Makeup Long Wear Gel Eyeliner in the shade Boss. So it's basically just a black eyeliner. So it's this one here. And it does have, like on this end, it has the pencil. And then on the other end, it has a sharpener and like a little smudgy, smudgy thingy. But it's basically just a black pencil and it's very creamy. And I actually purchased this because of Mel Thompson. She talked about this all the time. And this is great because I actually need a black liner. I actually just ran through like three <laughs> three black liners. One was a liquid liner and then two pencil liners. So this is perfect. 10 times on that one. The next one I have is by Urban Decay. It is the 24 seven glide on eye pencil in delinquent. So it's kind of a blackened purple pencil, which I'm using trying to finish a purple pencil in my 21 and 21 project now. So I'm not sure about this one. This one actually is glittery, shimmery pencil. Actually, I should say not glittery, shimmery. But this one I think could, uh, yeah, it definitely can be a pencil that I use on my upper lash line because it's pretty dark. So this will be great. I can use this on my upper lash line in place of the black. So I can use this when I do like purple looks. So we'll use this one 10 times. Excellent. 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 All right. The next one is going to be a bit challenging because it's a bright pink or baby pink, really, lip pencil. This is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Westy. Westy is, it's going to be difficult. Mm, I don't know. You know, it's not the season to be using this color kind of like out of sync. But, you know, I was thinking, let me show you this other product that I pulled, which is by Mary Kay. It is the True Dimension Lipstick in Lava Berry. So it's this product here, and it's one of those where you, you hit the top there and it, the product comes out the top. So here is the shade and let me give you a swatch it's a really pretty color there we go so I actually kind of played around and was like I don't know how I'm gonna use this pencil I think this could be a good base liner so if I color my lips in with this shade and I tried it with this Mary Kay product and then top it with the shade. Okay, so there it is, the same lip product with Westy as a base. So I think that could still, that could definitely work in the wind, fall, winter time. So that's probably how I'll end up using this because I don't really have any shades that I have that I'm working on that are this color right now or this shade right now. So that's probably how I'll end up using it. But yeah, I think that will work. I'll have to be creative with that. And this is a really pretty color. We'll see how the formula is. And so that's the four items so far. The last item I have is by Stila and it is the Hide and Chic Fluid Foundation in the shade Light 
four. So it's this foundation here. I've never used this. So let me see what this shade mat, how the shade matches. It's pretty light, I think. So there is the shade. Oh no, I mean, it actually matches me pretty well right now, to be honest. Yeah, blends in really well. Blends in really nicely. It seems to be a lighter coverage, which I don't mind. So we'll have to see. Let's see, I'm supposed to have shaken it well. I did not do that. Let me try that again. Maybe it has better coverage if I shake well, or if the coverage changes if I shake well. Well, yeah, maybe a little bit dark. Look at that. It's a little bit dark. And, and it could match me better when I come back from Hawaii, probably. So yeah, we'll see. That looks much darker now that I've mixed it. So yeah, those are the five items that I've rolled in. So now we have two foundations, two eyeliners, you know, and a, several, a couple of lip products, two eyeshadows, a blush. So yeah, it's an interesting mix, not what I was expecting at all. So that is my update for Project 10 uses. I'm kind of, you know, excited for the items that we brought in because they're not items that I typically would have selected. And I think that's what's exciting about this project is to use products that, you know, you don't normally pick or that I wouldn't normally pick to go into projects. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you are doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. One thing I didn't say in the start of this video is that I have currently hit my goal, 10 use goal on 40 items in this project. I'm pretty happy with that so far. 40 items, that's pretty good. I think, I think that's pretty good for 10 months, nine months, really nine months worth of use. Very exciting. <laughs>